Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones when it's coming. In today's episode we are going to take a look at the latest update that has hit the servers uh, to kind of figure out what's new in the game of course. Uh, to talk about how that's going to affect the game uh, moving forward of course. As usual we will find the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, patch notes and it's quite large, there's a lot to read but I will just shorten it down. Uh, one of the things that's been add, changed is the kingdom system in terms of uh, kingdom relocation system. Um, you still need the transnational relocate, relocation scrolls to actually move, uh, which hasn't changed, but they have decided to change kingdoms up into different tiers. So there's like new kingdoms, which are created within 40 days, and similar open kingdoms, which is from 41 to 180 days. And then of course the uh, full open kingdom which are above 180 days, so um, we're going to take talk about how that's going to affect the game uh, later on. And of course they have also added uh, uh, new cross server training events for newer kingdoms, uh, so we might as well take that as well uh, during this update. I can't really show you any direct screens of how it's working or anything, I can only talk about how, to, uh, how it's been going on based on feedback I've got been getting from people in newer kingdoms. Uh, so there's that. Then there's of course a bunch of uh, improvements in the sense that the uh, glory level is more visible in the city so we now don't have to scroll in as deep to actually fin figure out what's going on. Um, then there's of course the improved experience system in albums and some other uh, interesting things I suppose. Uh, nothing major or anything like that, so it's going to be a somewhat short-ish video, um, but we will take a look at everything that's been happening. So first of all, let's take a look at the new kingdom system, I suppose we can call it like that. Uh, we're currently, we are currently in the kingdom overview selection, and you can quickly see that the newest kingdom is K372. Um, it will probably been created only a few days ago, uh, nothing really interesting about that. Well, you can see once you scroll under the kingdom that it will say that it's a new kingdom which is within 40 days and that there's a relocation limit that so only players from new kingdoms can uh, move between new kingdoms. Uh, from what I understand um, there is also some limitations with the new kingdoms. I am not sure if it's correct but I have heard things about people saying that if they are in K, let's say 370, then they are unable to move to K371 and 372 because they are newer. Whether that's true or not, I'm not entirely sure about, but it's something to keep in mind. And it's it might be possible that they have made it that way to keep people from jumping inside New Kingdoms the entire time and being protected that way, even though it would be really costly. It can prolong your security in that regard if you are a weaker account and want to take your time growing. Um, so that's potentially something to keep in mind. And if you look further down, you can see that they go from being uh, new kingdoms to semi-open kingdoms, which uh, also has relocation limit, of course. But this relocation relocation limit is from. Um, Semi new kingdom players can go to new kingdoms, but they can go to fully open kingdoms. And uh, new players, of course, can go to semi open and new king uh, open kingdoms, of course. And players from open kingdoms can't go towards uh, semi open kingdoms or going to uh, new kingdoms. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Personally, I think it's a uh, good change to the game in the sense that there's been a lot of reports uh, that some bigger players or alliances are entering new kingdoms, uh, taking them over and just doing it the easy way so to say that you can get easy rewards from uh, Lord of Lords for example or other events uh, where you are matched against lower tier uh, people of course in other kingdoms so I think that's um, the devs attempt to try and limit people so that they can't just uh, jump to a new kingdom and take it over and have a easy life there. Now we can take a look at some of the general slice of life changes they've made in the game. Uh, one of them is of course the entire glory uh, level on building system. Um, they've made the icons bigger and made it so that you don't have to actually click on the building to see them or hover uh, over the building. 
So now that our, all the icons are shown, it also shows which buildings you can of course upgrade in terms of glory levels. So that helps of course uh, both newer players to figure out what buildings there are of course. And then it helps us just having a general overview of where, where we are at uh, in terms of levels of course. Then we also have uh, slight changes to the album collection. Uh, they've increased the trading time to 8 hours now I believe. And now there's also a redeem. Uh, button so you can probably check if your shard trades are still going on I would assume or if there is uh, other things going on in that regard they have also messed around with the experience system I'm not entirely sure if they have lowered the required amount of experience I personally think it's the same but it might have been lowered slightly I can't say for sure but that's some of the things I've been uh, messing around with a little bit of course and then there is of course also the daily missions or activity rewards they have changed them out uh, slightly and now they have changed it so that the troops are not based on which troop types so instead of having 500 troops uh, of infantry 500 troops of spearmen 500 troops of cavalry 500 troops of bowmen each separated they've just made it so that it's going to be any types of troops and then increase the amount up to 3000 you still get the same amount of things from it but of course they've just increased uh, the overall combined amount in that regard the same for resources they have just said that any resources are fine instead of having to look around for specific resources and the rewards are pretty much the same as well in that regard so it's nothing really huge, but it's something that could be easier for people so you don't have to go and harvest on four different nodes, but can just do it in one node, basically. The last two things that we are talking about is, of course, the changes that are made to Siege of Interval and Alliance Conquest in terms of newer kingdoms. Um, they have made it so that instead of after 60 days of creation that the events will start, then they have that they have changed it to 180 days instead uh, and in those 180 days they will allow for training camp event which is uh, the same as as far as I understand it's the same as Alliance Conquest and Siege of Winterfell but in a one-off match against someone else as, as a way to train people uh, up into how the event works and so on and the rewards will of course be different from the normal Alliance Conquest and Siege of Winterfell but it's a way for them to actually experience and try out the real deal in the newer kingdoms without having to deal with uh, older kingdoms messing around with uh, points and stuff to actually uh, match up against them. Uh, overall I think that's a nice change. Uh, we have of course in the older kingdoms Alliance Conquest starting in roughly three days I believe it is. In two days it has to be registered and then in three days the match starts or something like that and then in Siege of Winterfell of course is a little bit over a month away or almost two months away so there's some time there in that regard personally I think that it's a good idea to have added the training of course uh, the training aspects for the newer kingdoms sadly don't have any footage of it but I have uh, talked with people a little bit here and there and they have said that is how it's working basically uh, but yeah uh, this more or less concludes this video. Uh, this covers the basics of the latest update and I hope you found the video useful to kind of find out uh, how things are working and of course if you are new to the channel you are welcome to like the video and subscribe to the channel and you can write down in the comments below if you have any of course and yeah if you're new to the game or want to play the game there's going to be a link in the description below as well as for the Game of Thrones Winners Coming Discord group and I wish you all a great weekend. I hope you all have a great time and enjoying the events that are in the game right now. So take care guys. Bye bye.